Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today we're going to do another little tiny house. I am still chipping away at this historic house. I'm hoping it'll be done for next episode. We might have one more episode before. Uh, but this this is a huge house. Like, it takes a stupid amount of time to fully make it awesome, but uh, it's getting there. So today, I think I want to do one of these little tiny ones. Uh, let's just do maybe the... The Burned House, I think. 36,000. It's real small. So we're going to keep this uh, very simple. We're not going to go super crazy with it. Uh, but yeah, I think it should be good. We'll see what we can do here. So let's take a look at this place. This house apparently was burned by a fire. So, uh, obviously that's, you know, n not ideal for a house. Uh, looks like we got a bunch of stuff out here that's going to have to be cleaned up. We're probably going to have to reside. Uh, or paint the whole house, it looks like. That shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. It's pretty small. Uh, yard is going to need some love for sure. We may do a small garden on this one, just, try, just to try and get a little bit of extra money out of the house. Uh, if we go inside, let's see. We got... Whew, man. Talk about a tiny little place. We got a bedroom in here that's actually pretty good sized for such a small house. We have a kitchen here, and we have a bathroom here. Okay, so we've got like a very small living room. This is actually, I swear this is the same layout of a house that we've already done. But that's okay. Yeah, because I took out these uh, this wall here to open this up into a larger like kitchen and stuff. Uh, so maybe we won't do that this time. Maybe we'll leave it real small, have a very tiny kitchen, turn this into a living room, just just to try and, like, kind of, you know, keep it, uh, uh, make it different than the last time we did basically this house. But yeah, this is pretty much the whole place. Obviously, it's a mess. Uh, we have a lot of cleanup to do, so we know how it goes. Let's do a little bit of a cleaning montage. There we go. That's looking quite a bit better, I think. Looks like an actual house now. I resided everything, obviously did the lawn, uh, cleaned up all the stuff inside. Uh, still need to do floors and walls, uh, but we'll get there. Also, I just realized I forgot to do all of these uh, outlets that need to be replaced as well. Although I could also just like completely... Uh, remove them. 
<laughs> I could just delete them, uh, but that's fine. Anyway, so yeah. Next step is to get this thing all prepped. We're going to change basically all of the walls and floors in here. Uh, although I think I am going to leave this as a very small little kitchen and just uh, kind of keep the same layout of the house that we have now. So after further review, yeah, this is literally just the abandoned house. Uh, the interior of it anyway, uh, that we did a couple of days ago. <laughs> it's the exact same layout. Um... So, to differentiate it, I wanted to go with very kind of bold colors in here. So I went with kind of like this dark teal in what will be the living room. Uh, the kitchen I kept pretty simple, just went white with a nice backsplash here where the counters and stuff are going to go. In the bathroom, I went with a, a light green tile on everything. Uh, floors in the kitchen and the bathroom are this white tile. Uh, this is all beige carpet. And then in the bathroom, I went with, uh, this is bloody red. It's like a very dark red color that I actually quite like. Uh, so yeah, very different color scheme because I don't want this to just be abandoned house 2.0. Uh, so yeah, that's all good. So now it's time to start actually doing some furniture and stuff like that. And I thought maybe let's go ahead and do the kitchen together because uh, we can totally do that. Uh, so let's start with a refrigerator because every house is going to need one. And I think I want to go with a nice tall stainless steel refrigerator. Although we do, we do want to keep our prices down. So maybe we just go with something real simple like this. I don't like the blue, though. There we go. Let's do maybe something along those lines. And we can just put that here, right in the corner. Or maybe, you know what, I think I'd actually like it a little bit better over in this corner instead. And then we got to do our counters. So let's go furniture kitchen and we got to pick a countertop style we haven't really used the glen counters at all but they also don't have all that much uh, customization as far as like spacing and stuff but this might work yeah maybe we can go with this how does this look not bad and i I, I'm kind of okay with the default color, although I don't think I like the wood for the tabletop. I think I'd rather go something else. Maybe just this, like, dark black, or maybe just white. And then change the front to some sort of wood color. Maybe something a little darker, like this dark walnut. Although I don't like that there's this other little strip down here. Hmm, maybe we don't go Glen. Let's see what else we have here for kitchen options. I do like the Gustum stuff. We also haven't really used the Vigo stuff at all. How, how big is this? Ooh, that's a really deep countertop, though. That's going to be probably a little bigger than we want. What if we look at just like a Gustum countertop? How deep is this? Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a little more along the lines of what we're looking for. We probably do want to have a, a slight separation. I don't think this is necessarily the one I'd want to use, though. I think I'd probably want to go here and then go like pure white so just like black and white for the kitchen something like that I think will look nice and then uh, let's just search for Gustum Dark and this will allow us to grab all the stuff we need so obviously we need a sink we said we want to go pure white for the, t the top there that doesn't leave us with a ton of extra space Ooh, we also want an oven in here, too. We are going to be very short on space, it looks like. Obviously, we want uh, 
pure white here. So let's just kind of shift all this over. I think I want the oven to go right there. And then we'll put the sink in the middle. Uh, could I get a slightly larger cabinet? Wide cupboard. Here we go. This might be what we're looking for. No, that's still going to be smaller than I want. I wish it had it in like... Um... Oh, here we go. This is, this is what we're looking for. So, let's see. A 50... So I'm guessing this is probably like 70 centimeters ish. Let's just see. Is that about halfway? Yeah. Okay, cool. So two of these will get the job done. So pure white. And we'll just go one and two. And that way we've got our little kitchen area. We do have a stove. We're going to need a cooktop. Uh, not that one. Let's just search for induction. Go with the cheaper one. Put that right there. So we do have our little oven. Uh, and then we're going to need some kitchen cabinets. And I think normally I would go and put in a range hood. But given how little space we have, I think I just want to go with these ones instead. So we'll do two cabinets there. And then... Ooh. I don't know how wide the oven is. I'm guessing probably 60 centimeters. That's usually the uh, the kind of standard. This is 80. How is that? Yeah, that's way bigger. So we're looking for a 60 centimeter cabinet, I think. Narrow, wide, maybe this one. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we just need... Uh, I do still want to have a little bit of a gap over the sink, I think. So I want to find, like, the, the skinny ones, like this guy. But only a 60 centimeter, right? Oh no, it is 80. Okay, cool. So there we go. There's our kitchen, or at least uh, the functional portion of it. We do need a light in here, so we're just going to go super simple ceiling lamps. And I'm just going to grab this guy right here. Throw that right about there. That seems centered. And there we go. We have our kitchen. We can maybe do something with this space. Or, you know what? I know what we can do. We're just going to grab a small, thin area rug. Nothing super big. Maybe like this? That's too big. I need something smaller. Uh, what about like this one? Yeah, there we go. That's a little... That, that's the right size. Let's choose a color we like. Uh, actually, I kind of like that. Just to have in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then it looks like to center it on the room, we got to move it to about there. There we go. So I think that is the kitchen looking good. And now I'm going to go ahead and tackle the bathroom and some other rooms and things like that. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of the idea. Also, I'll add uh, a couple minor kitchen accessories. I think every house needs a microwave. I think that's an absolutely like essential thing. So let's just throw a microwave in there as well. But yeah, we have a small kitchen uh, that looks pretty good, I think.
Okay, I have the bathroom done, and I kept it super simple. I went with this shower because this is the only shower that actually fits in this tiny little space without uh, extending past the window sill. Uh, so I kind of had to use this one. Uh, but then threw a, to a toilet down, small sink, uh, and a mirror, painting on the wall, and then just some towels, a rug, a little trash can. Uh, all in all, for such a small space, uh, I think this is like a pretty nice bathroom. It It's functional, it totally works. Uh, so yeah, I think it's good. The only thing that I wish I had a little more room for was just some counter space. Um, because like, if you're taking a shower, you gotta put your clothes somewhere and you can't really, there, there's just not enough counter space on this, but, uh, I suppose you could like put it on the windowsill or on top, like I've, I've had bathrooms that are very similar to this, uh, in the past in places where I've lived that have no counter space whatsoever and like, you make do. It is what it is. Uh, and it's a very, very small house. So, you know, people, the, the people who live here, they're just going to have to deal with it. But yeah, I think it's a perfectly decent bathroom for this house. And it's nice and colorful. So there you go. Bathroom is done. Now I think I want to tackle the living room, which is going to be an interesting challenge because I want to make sure that you can walk through here. But I also want to fit in like a couch and a TV and stuff. And yeah, that could be interesting. This room was genuinely really hard to work with. Um, I think I kind of made it work. I don't love it, but I think with how the space kind of like with the space constraints, uh, I think this is about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. The problem is uh, in order, like obviously you need to be able to walk through here, right? to get to the bedroom and then to the kitchen. Additionally, there are these stupid outlets back here. There's one there and then there's one hiding on the wall over here that make it so you can't actually push stuff up against this wall. You need to have a gap in front of the outlet. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'll put in a corner couch over here. No, you can't do that because the outlet's in the way. Uh, and you can't get rid of the outlet. I, like, you, I can't sell it either. It, uh, it won't allow me to sell. So, yeah, it, it was very difficult to work with this space. But here's what we came up with. I went with an old-fashioned TV uh, because it's much smaller. Uh, if I, I, I could have gone with, like, a regular, normal, old uh, TV... But as you can see, it's a little too big. It would be sticking out into the doorway into the kitchen. Uh, and I couldn't really put it like over here because no one would be able to see it. I thought about maybe putting it here, but the couches came out to the wall too far. So you wouldn't be able to walk through like it was a rough layout to work with, as I said. But I ended up, as I said, going with uh, this much smaller old fashioned TV just sitting on top of uh, this is like a side table. I put a little two-person loveseat couch here with a matching armchair uh, and then just a table in the middle for a light. Threw a plant in the back corner just to kind of do something with that space. Uh, bookshelf here, uh, again, to kind of fill this space. Over here we've got, you know, our coat rack and our little shoe cabinet type deal. Uh, and then over here I went with a little bit of an office space. Uh, just a desk, a chair, a couple of cabinets, and a picture on the wall which naturally made this whole room register as an office, because of course it did. Um, but that's fine. This this will work. I think, given the space constraints, I'm pretty happy with it. I did put a rug down as well, just to kind of break up the floor color a little bit. I think it's fine. I think it turned out okay. It doesn't look bad. Uh, and as I said, this space was super hard to work with. So, um, yeah, this is without a doubt, I think, the most challenging room in this house. If we hadn't done the abandoned house just a couple episodes ago, I would have taken out this wall here uh, without a second thought. This wall is such a pain because uh, <laughs> it's just totally in the way uh, of everything. But I wanted to keep the same house layout uh, just to help sort of differentiate from the new abandoned house that we did a couple episodes ago, since it's the same interior sort of floor plan. Um, so, yeah, this is what we came up with. I'm good with it. It's like, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. And I'm happy with it 
given the constraints we had to work with. So uh, now the last room in the house is the bedroom. And the bedroom is done, and I like it. I think it turned out really well. It's nice and kind of cozy. I think the red walls look really good. Uh, went with cedar furniture and things like that. Threw in a bed with a bedside table and then a double dresser over here. And I wanted to put a TV in here because there's the only other TV in the house is this tiny itty bitty little one, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, so figured might as well throw a nice TV into this room so you could watch TV while you're in bed. Um, bookshelf, another little dresser over here with a mirror on t uh, above it, you know, for getting ready in the morning or whatever. A uh, little alarm clock, some shelves through a, a little mounted antlers up on the uh, wall there and then just a guitar in the corner and uh, a gray carpet on the rug and I think all in all like it's a pretty nice bedroom it turned out uh, fairly well so I'm good with it and that pretty much brings the entire house to completion now I could do a little bit with the yard but the thing is, it adds a percentage to the house. And the percent, I mean, the house is probably going to sell for like 40K. So like, eh. Plus, we don't really care about money at this point anyway, because we're, you know, we have more money than we can spend, essentially. So I think we're just going to go ahead and sell the place. Uh, I'll skip the, the auction. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, Put the house on auction, see what we can get for it. So it looks like altogether we have about 36,000 into the house, 37, maybe 37,000, something like that. Just doing napkin math. Yeah, okay. So that seems good. We will, of course, negotiate, try and get an extra 25 to get us up to over 10K. He says no. Okay, well, I will accept your offer anyway. It's fine. So there we go. Now we get some nice before and after pictures. And, uh, you know, keeping the same layout of the house, you really get kind of a good feel for how everything was changed. And I like it, you know, for a nice small little house. It's cozy. It gets the job done. Uh, we put new siding on it as well. Not too bad. Not too bad for a quick little easy tiny house so hopefully i'll be able to get the uh the mansion <laughs> the 350 square foot mansion that i've been working on now for like a week <laughs> hopefully i'll be able to get that done uh and to be fair it's been kind of like am i gonna finish this today no probably not so i have to do a different video instead so like i haven't been working on it non-stop but hopefully we can get this historic house done in time for the next episode. I guess we'll see. But guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.